Good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you from Moscow, Idaho. Uh, first, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers for hanging in there. I know it's been about three months since I've posted. Uh, we've had a lot of um, different things going on. Um, we lost uh, our mother-in-law that's been with us for eight years now. We lost her to pretty much age a couple months back. And uh, been having a lot of issues with uh, pain, not only in my back, but my hips, which uh, readjusting, it's uh, taken quite a while to... Uh, get more than five, 10 minutes seat time without my back trying to blow up on me. So anyway, here I am uh, back at the bench again and uh, figured I better get a build video up or close up shop. So anyway, again, I appreciate it guys. Uh, so let's just get into it. Um, you can see, uh, of course, another Wood Brothers car. And this one's going to be Petty's 87 car. Uh, these are new issue power slides. They've been out about a month now. It just came out. I've got an old set of slicks and some other ones, but... Uh, figured I'd use the new ones and yes I have instructions um, believe it or not I've never built one of these 87 monogram kits so I just keep those close by for reference but anyway on to the model uh, this had started out I was going to do a box build um, as you can see um, let me get a pointer of some kind. As you can see from the holes here. Here, here for oil lines and such. Um, it's not going to be a box build. Got a nice little uh, monogram lean to it. I've also got some... Uh, Lines drilled here, or holes for the oil line, fuel line over here. Then these would be box fan for squirrel cage fan. Um, I'm using, instead of the standard old one-piece suspension, this is uh, the truck arm suspension for 90... I think 92 and up, um, but it's 3D printed, a uh, friend of mine, Jay, over at Jay's Model Garage does them, um, but anyway, you can see the, this is actual functioning truck arm suspension, it'll actually work, I'll put some springs in there, and when it comes with track bar, Nice track bar mount. And then these will get screen in them. And anyway, what I... And also, you can see my chassis is like semi-gloss. I just have never liked my chassis gloss, gloss, glossy. Um... Trying to find a good royal blue replacement. Um, Use Tamiya X4. But what I did is four parts of 
the X4 one part of X1, which is white, and then two parts of XF8, which is flat blue. Now, mixing the flat with the gloss is what cuts down the glossy shine for me. And that's just the way I like it. Um, got these painted up. You can see I've got these pinned to where they'll just drop right in there. Or not. Anyway. My roll cage is all pinned. I've got pins right here, right here, and in the middle here and here. And then I also have small pins up top here and right here and it just makes it a lot stronger holds it together uh, but anyway that's about it i got all my black a lot of this stuff is going to get uh various color metal stuff on it so what i did is uh use mr color semi-gloss black um I don't have anything that's being chromed, so I don't need a good, a really uh, gloss black base. Um, but yeah, you can see even up front here, I've got holes drilled for my coolers, overflow tubes, and everything on the side. And then this is the way I do mine. This uh, separate bar piece, I will line up and put in on the chassis here on the frame. And then this other piece, since there's two catch points on, on the upper part of the frame, I'll glue that on here instead of the frame. And then it just uh, pretty much just drops right on. Sorry guys, I'm kind of shaky today. My back's killing me already, but but anyway, there you go. Now you can see that it everything lines up nicely. Then the same with this, I use the chassis as a jig. There we go. And it just goes on just like that. And then I got everything body worked on this. Um, on all four wheel wells. Um, might be hard to see, but I added a small strip of styrene on the inside of, of all four wheel wells. Um, they're just, just a touch too big. I'm not going crazy on any of the rest of the body. Um, I did kick that front grill out or that front valence. 
box stock, it's usually sitting at an angle at about like that. Let's see if I can turn this over and get it up here. What I did is I sp split it here, here, and here, heated it up and put uh, some styrene in it. And what that does is it just forces that out. And you can see it a little bit right there where I just put the styrene in. Um, and this, these marks, this is where I put uh, some of the contact cement on there, the Tamiya or the Plastruck. And once you lift your thumb up, it actually left a fingerprint. I had to sand the hell out of that. But anyway, that's far as that's gone got every like i say all this stuff uh semi-gloss black uh this motor is going to get a steel color uh the oil pan will be a pale gold flat aluminum on the that the rear suspension is uh that's it it's i will paint the pumpkin a uh, whole red uh but that's about it Got uh, my chrome parts over here in uh, degreaser, which I'm gonna have to find something else to put them in because it's been in there for two days and it's about 25%. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, been doing a lot of uh, 3D printing. Um, These are some dashes that'll go on my um, Salvino chargers. And these are shifters that are kind of angled that'll fit on better on the Salvino chargers. Some Oberg filters, uh, pretty much all they used. In NASCAR, the Oberg style filters. And I got uh, some Tremec five speeds. And let's see what else. Of course, we got some good years. Yeah, I got a bunch of other stuff, but that's pretty much the highlight. I do have some rims that I printed. So that's about it. Um, I will be getting this body and primer today. Um, I'm going to be using the uh mcw primer i like this stuff when i want a really super strong durable primer um this stuff once it's dry it coats very well it dries fast it levels really good and it is hard as a rock when you when you when it's done curing so i'll get this sprayed and get it in the dehydrator and just keep moving on so next update, we'll have some stuff put together, and we'll just go from there. But anyway, I, I appreciate you all tuning in, and thanks for your patience, and uh, we'll see you soon.